So this is Din. Oh shit, he's right there. Oh yeah, well. Oh. Are you gonna come out or what? Ooh, this guy's tough. Welcome back, my friends, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to resume Kill List Extermination. So I've spent several hours uh, off camera just enjoying the game and <laughs> prep, prepping for the mission. Uh, I I fully acknowledge, too, because some of you may mention this comments that I've way, way over prepped for this mission, but it, I, I did that deliberately um, just because... I love this game and I, I like building this stuff and just enjoying it. So yeah, I know, I know we've totally over prepped. I've actually attempted this mission in multiplayer way back when we when I first started playing the game and we weren't able to complete it because we were super low level. Um, so I kind of know what's going to happen anyways, but um, they just came out with a week 11 update and there is some cool changes uh, to this update. So one of the best things is we now have, um, right here on the left we can put a light on our belt doesn't uh it doesn't show up there uh oh it does it does show up here though look at that my lantern's just sitting right there of course my hand is inside of it so hopefully this is a fireproof <laughs> armor <laughs> but it's really cool because it it just changes the game so much for mining for being out at night uh one thing about this mission we're going to do is i have to actually engage the boss at night and this is going to make it just so much incredibly easier and you can toggle the light off and on just with the l key uh they also added inventory sorting now they they have told us uh, or they said in the patch notes rather that they are going to they're still working on it uh so with that being said it needs a lot more work cuz the only thing it does right now is it sorts by weight and i would much much for organizational purposes much rather have it sort by by item you know putting like items together um and the other thing it does that we don't have yet and i hope we will and this is almost more important to me than even sorting my own inventory is being able to sort um containers um again for organization and be able to sort things by type so um there's they said they're still working on that so you know, we'll see what they come up with. <clears throat> well, let's see, what else did they They added, like, footprints and stuff, uh, but you have to go into the, the settings of the game and set on terrain destruction, I think, or something like that. I haven't messed with that yet. And just a lot of fixes to, to various different things. Um, one thing I really disagree with is they've now made pickled carrots um, spoilable. So... I don't get that. The whole point in canning food is so that it doesn't spoil. <clears throat> and they but they now have a spoil timer on it when it, whereas that used to not have a spoil timer on it. So, yeah, that's I I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I don't it's just the stupidest thing in my my humble opinion. Um so anyways, uh, we I I did uh make a uh, an ice box. We learned the ice box uh because I've heard that uh the ice actually lasts quite a long time. It was actually kind of hard for me to get the ice because I went up into... Oh, they fixed the map too, so it, it pops in a lot quicker. I went up into this area. I avoided the quest area because I wanted to do that on camera with you guys. And it doesn't let you go uh, very far in here before you know you get the warning to turn back. But fortunately, I was able to pick up a little bit of ice right on that very border. Um, and so I brought that back you know, to use in the ice box to, to preserve things. But anyway... Um, they, why does it, this, the tooltip says, oh, okay, I see what it's saying. It's, it won't spoil because it's in a fridge, right? But that's ridiculous. Canned food, especially for the temporary time that you're on these <clears throat> um, prospects, should never spoil in this game. So, I don't know. Hopefully, enough people will whine about that to, <laughs> uh, to, to uh, have them fix it. I made the larger oxide dissolver honestly i didn't need to it, this is more for like a group of people but i did because i could you know kind of thing so the the smaller wooden one it works fine for single player in my opinion uh let's see what else did we make we made the biofuel stove we made the kitchen bench uh the biofuel composter i i ended up actually making a generator but i don't think i'm going to use it because in order for me to do anything oh uh, in the tier four uh that requires all that composite stuff 
I need 120 electronics just to make the furnace and the food or the material processor to even use that stuff at all. And I figured, you know what, that is, that's too much sandboxing, especially for this mission. So I didn't, you know, I'm not going to do that high tech stuff. I also learned the solar panel. Uh, so we're going to try that out along with the electric deep mining drill uh, in, a, in a longer prospect. We're not going to do that here and see how well that, you know, that works. Um, I'm trying to think if I did anything else new to tell you guys about. I, I, I'm sure I did, but I just don't remember exactly what else it might have been that, that I learned. So anyway, that's where we are. We are going to do a little bit of quick prep food-wise, and then we're going to take off and go kill this boss. Um, so let's see here. I need, I'm looking for epoxy. Didn't I? Oh, let's make some more epoxy. I'm bringing 100 rifle rounds and 100 shotgun shells. Again, probably massive overkill, but we can't, we're doing it because we can kind of thing. Um, and here's the, here's my food loadout. So, and here's another thing too. I went ahead and learned some more medicines and stuff like that. Um, so I can now make the anti-poison tonic and the antibiotic tonic, uh, which is great for caving, but um, I also made this health restoration paste, but it says that this restores 50 health when consumed, and it costs a tree sap, like 10 tree sap, uh, 20 wheat, and lily to make one. Cooked fish restores 30% of your health when consumed. I have 687 health. That means that this restores something like 180 health each time I eat it. it be, because, you know, if it was 10%, it would be 68. So 30% is going to be, you know, 100 and almost, almost 200 health, actually. Um, and so it's like, wh why? <laughs> why would you ever do this? You know, it just doesn't make sense. Unless I'm missing something there. But, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so that was probably a mistake, but whatever. Maybe they'll buff it and make it more worthwhile later on. I don't know, and I know they're still, you know, working on the game, too. So more stuff needs to be balanced and tweaked. And so, yeah. All right, let's grab uh, this epoxy here. And I want to, I don't, again, I don't really need to, but I want to make some more shotgun shells. So what do we miss? Oh, that's right. We're out of copper. Eh, you know what? I think... I think 86 shotgun shells plus eight in the magazine are good enough. <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't want to do any more mining right now. I've been doing so much mining. Um. All right. I think that's it. Uh, I made a glass bench here with a bunch of jars for pickled carrots. Um. Uh, I mean, well, we. I think we had already learned the carpentry bench before. Uh, so here's the here's here's my food loadout. Um. Fish curry gives you 225 maximum health. To my knowledge, there is no other food in the game currently that gives you that much health. Plus 10% health and stamina regeneration on top of that. Uh, so that is my number one food. Even though I can make normal bread, flat bread still gives you a crazy 100% stamina regeneration. And beer gives you 100% uh, uh, stamina regeneration plus 125 max stamina on top of that. Um... So this combination of food, your, the stamina regen is just crazy. Look at my bar and see how fast it goes back up when I stop. Just boop. <laughs> it's really, it's really good for stamina regeneration. Um, my, what we'll call combat food is cooked fish for healing. So those are essentially my health packs and pickled carrots because of the 20% uh, projectile damage. And I looked that up. There was some question as to whether or not that worked with guns but most of what i saw people were saying yes it does um so pickled carrots you know we'll you we'll eat that when we go into combat um plus it'll you know give us more stamina but for just running around the countryside uh these three foods here are just amazing okay so that being said before we take off and continue um our our quest here uh do i have any carrots oh wait a second hold on um, all right. Yeah, it looks like, hmm, did I just harvest those? I don't think I did. Oh, nuts. Okay. I wanted to make some more of these, but you know what? We probably don't need to. We got eight here. 
course, you know, at least one of those will spoil before we take off. Uh, but I do want to get a little bit more fish. So I got some cheap ass arrows here. And let's just go do a, a little bit of quick fishing here. Um, I noticed too, I've, I've been using the, the carbon arrows. Um, unless the tooltip is wrong, the carbon arrows do the same amount of damage. Uh, 81 to 90 projectile and 25% critical damage, 10% break chance, as the titanium arrows. Same exact stats. Difference is these take titanium, um, and these take a copper and epoxy. They both require car carbon fiber, but these are uh, accessible to you earlier because you can make this bench uh, sooner than you can make this one. Uh, so I thought that was interesting. Uh, I can't make the composite arrows because I need composites, and composites is the is the thing about you know the the tier four that's really expensive just to even get to the point where you can make them. And, and again, I just didn't feel like it was necessary for this mission. Okay, uh, so uh, I think that's it uh, as far as far as updating you guys. And so yeah, let's go do a little bit of fishing here. And then um, that way we, you know, get that full stack of fish meat uh, for our healing. And again, I'm just, I just make the cheap stone arrows come out here and shoot them up until we have enough. It seems to be the easiest way to do this. And then if we get the, uh, you know, the little piranha dudes coming after us, then we kill them and eat them too. And I don't worry about recovering these arrows because they're super cheap. Okay, looks like we just got bit by you, you little bastard. Uh, so yeah, let's gather up some fish here. And uh, we'll make sure we have a full stack of, of that for healing food. And then um, I'm going to make... Oh, and I'm going to make a little more of the fish curry too. I don't think I need to, but I'll just make a little bit more. Uh, which, by the way, you make in the potbelly stove. Uh, so we'll make that, and then we're going to take off and resume the mission. I think we will probably have to wait until nighttime though to actually do it. So what we'll do is I'll probably just cut the camera and dink around until, you know, kill animals and get some more XP until nighttime. But speaking of XP, as you can see in the upper left hand corner, we are now 53 too. So we are moving up the ladder there. Okay, so we did get poisoned and normally I'd just let it wear off but we'll never use all of these before the end of this uh, prospect so we're just gonna take that okay so in the pot belly stove I already got soybeans and animal fat so let's load up all this fish and create uh, all of those and then with uh, you know what though actually I'm, we don't need that many let's take that fish back and cook it up so we can have our healing uh, healing fish too. Okay, so while that's going on, I'm going to put this in here. Let's make sure all of our weapons are fully repaired for the fight. So we need to repair our bow, uh, shotgun, uh, rifle, and knife. We need to repair it in here. Uh, we might as well repair our pick and axe while we're at it, because why not? Um, for our lantern, I'm gonna, uh, I'm probably gonna actually take two lanterns with me. I probably don't need to, but we will anyways, just to make sure that we have <coughs> everything that we need for that. Okay, let's put the rest of these stone arrows in here and not forget to switch back to our good arrows. And antibiotic tonic. Um, yeah, I guess I'll, I guess I'll take some of that and some of this with me in case we end up hiding out in the cave for a little bit or something. There. What are you doing? Um, you're not doing anything. So let's turn you off. You made a little more steel and stuff, but I think we're pretty much finished with crafting in this uh, prospect. Uh, we can make some more of this though. Okay.
So let's grab all of this and put this other piece of fish in here. This is about ready to go bad, so I'm just going to eat it now. Refresh all of this stuff. And then we'll just make another beer. So basically, if I'm around the base and I drink this, I just fill up another bottle and we're good to go. Okay, I think we're ready to rock and roll, you guys. Uh, let's put... Uh, let's actually store all of the spoilables in here until we're actually ready to set out, which we're pr probably going to do right as soon as this damn storm's done. Uh, well, and as soon as our, our cooked fish is done, too. So I think I'll cut the camera here, and when the fish is done, I'll bring you guys back. And actually, you know what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll probably just meet you up here, um, and then we'll, we'll resume at that point. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are at the next area here. So Saul should talk. Is he going to talk? Maybe not. Okay, so he wants us to search for more signs of animal devastation. The animal being the devastator. <laughs> uh, so we're probably looking for a similar kind of thing where... There's like claw marks or something like that. When we did this uh, on the multiplayer, I, I was literally brand new to the game. It might have been the first day I played it, and I just don't remember everything, but... And we are in the area, right? Yeah. Maybe... I thought I remember it maybe being up by some rocks or something. If it's always in the same place, maybe it's not, actually. I don't know. Uh, here we go. Yep. Pack hunters, the size, arrangement, and spacing of tracks indicate several large canine predators moving as a group. Press E to interact. Looks like the work of the same animal. Something riled it up. If you can confirm another site, the assembly's bots should be able to zero in on the general location of its den. We've marked one more attack report on your map. Um, okay. So, let's uh, put a marker there and run to the next spot. It's um, <clears throat> almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so hopefully the timing of this will work out to where when we get to that actual boss's location, he'll, it'll be nighttime. Alright, we're at the next site. So, we look around. Looks like there's a carcass up here or something. Some bones. There it is. Nasty. But that's everything we need. Assembly's bots ain't the best, but they've got to guess at where it's bedding down. See if you can find its den and end this. Okay, so. Oh. We don't have another marker? Um, this is a really big map. How in the hell am I supposed to find it? <laughs> um, really? Okay, locate then on map at nightfall. The only thing I remember about that, the den, was that it was kind of in an a little bit more of an open area, like one of these little kind of dirt areas. Oh, man. Okay. Well. I'm supposed to find it at nightfall, but I'd kind of like to know where it is first. I just don't remember from uh, the multiplayer session where exactly it was. Let's just run down here a little bit. Like I like I said, I remember being in kind of an open dirt area that I think was a little bit larger than this spot here. And I want to say we had to go further north too, but... I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find it, but if I have no luck, I might have to fudge a little bit and see if I can figure it out, look it up or whatever. Just because, I mean, that's all they're giving me. Locate den on map at night. Oh, 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 wait. Is it telling me it'll show up at nightfall? I'll bet you that's what that means. Okay, yeah, I'll bet you that's what that means. So it doesn't show up till nightfall, which means then that's how they're making sure I don't try and do it before nightfall. Okay, I got you. All right, well, why don't we do this then? Why don't we go up and kill a couple of polar bears since we're kind of near Polar Bear Alley, also known as the Southern Glacier, uh, just to get a little more XP uh, while we wait for nightfall. I'm also going to switch to uh, the pickled food now just because I don't want to not be able to get the buff from it when... The time comes for us to start the fight. As far as I know, there's no way to remove your current buff. You have to let it wear off. Or if there is, uh, that'd be nice to know how to do that. I think the way the game should work is if you eat a new type of food, it should just overwrite the oldest buff that you have on you. That way we can control at any point in time what buffs we actually want. Um, just occurred to me it might not let me go in. I thought I heard a bear over this way. I, you guys, I'm sure can't hear this, but I'm hearing the ploppity plop of, oh, that's a buffalo. Okay. Well, we'll kill him too. Oh, no, that's a, a grizzly. Never mind. Let's kill the wolf while we're at it. Right, give me my arrow back, homie. I'm not taking anything else. Just want my arrow back. We'll still skin him, though, for the XP, of course. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, it might not actually let me go too far up this time. It seems like this mission is more restrictive on going into the other biomes than the Argos exploration was. Well, let's just see how far we can go. Times there's a bear wandering around up that way. Oh, yeah, see, that's all the further I'm going to go. Okay, well, so much for polar bear hunting. That's not going to work. Okay, well, I guess, guys, I'm just going to kind of piddly fart around. Just keep killing critters for more XP until nightfall and then I'm assuming at nightfall then it'll show me where the marker is on the map because it doesn't make sense to me that it wouldn't I just like I said I just don't remember the last time I did this exactly how it went down because I was with some other people I was trying to trying to figure out the game and I didn't pay close attention to those details so I guess we'll I'll kind of hang out in this general vicinity um, maybe a polar bear will show up. I don't know. We'll see. And wait for nightfall. I'll bring you guys back at that point, and we'll go take this boss out. Okay, I just heard a very scary howl. And there we go. Okay, as soon as, yeah, as soon as 1800 hit, I heard a not normal howl in this game. <laughs> just about ready to take that bear out, but let's go. Let's do this. All right, so sounds like we have a bear really close up ahead, so let's get our shotgun ready. Uh, yeah, like really close. Shit. Damn. 
Okay. Uh, we didn't take any injuries, just a little bit of health, which will regen before we get to the boss, so we should be fine. I'm planning on using the shotgun, by the way, for crowd control, because we're going to get rushed by a bunch of ads. Um, but I believe the rifle does more damage overall, so that's what we'll be uh, hitting the boss with. At least that's my plan. We'll see how things go. I'm not... Oh, for Pete's sake. <sighs> Damn it. All right, I gotta find a boulder to hide in. Um, I guess this one will work. Is maybe it'll work? Actually, it doesn't look very big, does it? Um, what about up here? Yeah, this one's a little bit bigger. Okay, I'll hide from this lightning storm and bring you guys back when it's over. All right, we should be getting really close. Uh, to the location. Uh, actually, I need to uh, heal up a little bit here. I got attacked by a wolf while I was in, sitting in the boulder. And I was semi-AFK while that happened, which is not the smartest thing. But anyway, all right, here we are. So this is Din. Oh, shit. He's right there. Oh, yeah, well... Oh. Are you going to come out or what? Ooh, this guy's tough. Okay. Wow. <laughs> He's a lot tougher than I thought he was going to be. So, I guess we have to deal with ads while he hides in there. Is that the deal? Or are you going to come out? Come out, dude. He's dead. It, wait, is he? Yeah, he's dead. You almost made that look easy. <laughs> I did, kind of. <clears throat> Good kill. All right. Work down there. I'd say you're done. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Shotgun, guys. <laughs> Shotgun. Uh, works pretty well on this mission. We we killed this son of a bitch so fast we didn't even get the ads. Wow. Um, all right. Why am I carrying this guy? Uh, gee. How do I drop him? Am I supposed to be carrying him? Mission complete. Um, oh. Yeah, drop key. How much XP do we get for scanning him? 862? Wow, look at all that prime meat. Oh my goodness. I mean, there's nothing we can do with it, though. It's kind of silly for them to give you that much prime meat with how quickly it spoils um, when you're done with the mission. I guess if you were planning on sticking around for a little bit longer, that would make sense, maybe. But anyway. All right, that's it, guys. That is it. I didn't even bother using my rifle on that. Uh, so I'm going to head on back to the pod. I'll see you guys there, and we will officially end this mission. All right, we are back at the pod. I guess I don't really see any reason for us to stick around any longer. So, yeah, that concludes this mission. Extermination, our first extermination mission. Okay, let's return to the station. There we are. Okay. Kill list extermination complete. Follow the predator, exterminate the predator. Uh, and we got a thumbs up rating, which is cool. I don't know what the ratings are based on. I'm sure part of it is how quickly you can do it. But um, again, I'm I'm in this game to stop and smell the roses very much. So, okay. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Uh, let's select our character here. And we have to decide what our next mission is going to be. And we don't need to keep that anymore. And let's go into the workshop. So you guys have been telling me to take the canteen and the oxygen bottle first, but I don't see that unlocked. Uh, or am I looking in the wrong? Oh, here. Yeah, no, there they are. Okay, good. 
so basically the the reason I guess I would do this is because then I get it immediately and I don't have to, um, you know, wait till I can make them. Uh, but why, why are they locked though? Oh, because do I have to take this crap first before I get to it? Oh yeah. Okay. I do. So I guess you have to unlock the lower stuff to unlock the higher stuff. Ooh, that's nice. Minus 50% over encumbrance penalty. That's actually really nice, but the the pick itself is not as good as the titanium pick, though. Uh, in terms of its stats. Huh. Very cool. 50% chance to slow on hit with attacks. 10% chance to immobilize on hit with attacks. That's pretty nice, too. Okay, well, um... I think we'll go ahead and take your guys' advice and unlock this stupid thing. I'll probably never use it. I, I, I could see where it might be useful in the very, very early game, but, I mean, so who cares, right? Uh, we just barely cannot do this. We, we're short 25 credits. What about this one? 275, yeah. All right, well, we have to wait for the next time before we can get to that stuff then. Corn farming packet. Oh, yeah, you guys were telling me that you can bring, like, squash seeds down with you because I'm having a hard time finding that stuff. But anyway, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're not going to do... Yeah, why would I spend money on this? I just don't get that. Uh, food is so easy to get. Anyway, let's go back here. And uh, let's go ahead and try the desert out now. Uh, well, or e either that or the Arctic biome. Uh, we've been in the forest a lot, so I want to try something different. So we could do Ice Storm Expedition. It's a six, seven day, basically. Uh, disrupt Arctic Storm System with experimental tech. Um, so we could do that, or we could try Desert. This is, a, this is actually a three skull, but it unlocks the desert for us. Why would this be a three skull... And that's a one skull, but I have to do this first. It is, it is an insurance mission, though, so that's a good thing. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling the snow biome first, and then maybe, maybe we'll do the desert biome next. We can come back and do these later. I just, you know, like I said, we've been in the forest the whole time, and I want to try one of the other biomes out. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do Ice Storm Expedition. Disrupt Arctic Storm System with Experimental so. Tech. Told Lagos unit to offer you this one direct. They want Arctic territory opened up. Whole new zone. Untouched, uncharted, and seriously unsafe. Some wild weather patterns happening in there, which has got Group 15 interested too. Upside is, it pays real good. But it ain't a walk in the park. What do you think? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Uh, so we have to retrieve three components and then assemble a device. Uh, deploy and activate the disruptor above ground and under shelter in the glacier, glacier Arctic. Above ground and under shelter? Oh, right. Okay. We have to build a shelter around it. Gotcha. All right, guys. Let's do this. But... That'll be the next episode. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And I'm going to go ahead and land on the planet. Um, and we will start the very next episode as soon as we touch down. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.